the Boeing 747 vs. 777-9, two of Boeing's largest white bodies, the Ultimate 747 vs. the Ultimate 777. How big is the gap? Before we find out if you're new here, a warm welcome and be sure to subscribe for more great videos on the way. Also, be sure to subscribe to Aviation Flyer also on YouTube for more epic plane spotting and aviation passion on the way. Link to it is in the comments below. Starting with performance, the 747-8 flies 467 passengers 3 class to 7730 nautical miles. The 777-9 can take up to 426 passengers 2 class to 7285 nautical miles. So all in all, the performance gap is closer than ever. Engines. 747-8 is powered by four of the third generation of GE turbofans, the GE NX2B. With a 104.7 inch fan and bleed air system, it's basically the same as 787 engines, and each on the Dash 8 produces 66,500 pounds of thrust. The 777-9, however, has the more advanced GE 9X engines, being the largest with a 134 inch fan, it produces 105,000 pounds each. Efficiency. The big advantage on the 777-9. Having two engines, a lighter airframe with more advanced wing, it burns around 30% less per trip at 7.69 kg per kilometer compared to 10.9 kg per kilometer for the 747-8. Not even the additional seats on the 747-8 by around 40 can make up in fuel burn per seat. With the 747-8 burning 3.35 liters per 100 km per pack compared to just 2.48 liters per 100 km per pack for the 777-9 when both are configured in a 3-class layout flying to 7,200 nautical miles. Cabins the 747-8 has an upgraded Boeing Sky interior inspired from 787, with curved overhead bins and new mood lighting for a more spacious view. Beyond that though, it's noisy, has drier air than the new next generation jets and the Wi-Fi IFE systems are the newest. Triple Seven Dash Nine has the most advanced amenities available in the sky today, and has the next generation of sky interior, from cathedral ceilings with projection mood lighting, larger windows with electronic shading, lower cabin altitude of 6,000 feet, and more moist air. Plus the newest IFE and Wi-Fi, it's a stunner. All feature 17.5-inch white seats, 10 abreast. All in all, though, the Triple Seven X is more comfortable with newer amenities. Though it's hard to deny that flying on the 747 is an exclusive experience. Advantages and disadvantages. The 747-8 is also available in freighter versions with the same pilots operating them both, and its four engines means it's not subject to ETOPS. Otherwise, it's an ancient aircraft that lacks the efficiency going forward.
Really, the 777-9 is big enough for most routes and can fly over 95% of 747-8 missions today. Plus, it's more efficient and has a newer cabin. However, its development has been pushed back multiple times and has yet to be certified. Orders. Both are not selling particularly well given the main market is for 300-seater airliners, not these 400-seaters. But the 747-8 has received only 47 orders for the Intercontinental, while the 777-X has received a combined 320. So all in all, the 777-9 and 747-8 gap is close, and really for most routes, the 777-9 is easily big enough to replace the 747. It is the VLA of the future. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to subscribe also to Aviation Flyer for more great aviation passion content on the way. Till we meet next time, one team, one aviation, one sky ahead.